Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Editing Mama Goop. So this video is about a up and coming girl. Her name is Quirky Lover Rose. And I actually filmed this video months ago. Um, I've been kind of sitting on it. It was very difficult to edit. There's a lot of copyrighted music and um, she did something to her color, which is really weird. So um, please know that she did that, not me. So I'm just reacting to this video. One other thing about Rose, right now she's going through sort of a health crisis where she's in the midst of being diagnosed for a um, autoimmune disease, which I fully know, I fully appreciate it, I get it. Um, but because it's very traumatic in the beginning when you're um, being assessed for an autoimmune disease because they are like autoimmune cancer, autoimmune cancer, and obviously one is much worse than the other. So keep that in mind. Also, she's, I mean, her channel is starting to explode, no pun intended, but, um, you know, I, I didn't realize that other people had done reactions, so I just noticed that today. Um, so, I don't know, guys. Also, she ended up I think she was on Moonjaro for a time, but I'm not sure how all that's panning out now because of her health crisis. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. See you next time. Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I had one of my commenters ask me to take a look at someone. I mean, girl world is just about dried up at the moment. So this creator is called Quirky Love Rosie. Now, I normally only really like to look at the bigger channels because I don't want to appear that I'm punching down. So she has a channel that is about the size of mine, right? But she is slightly bigger than me in her channel, I mean. Anyways, she looks like a hot mess. This is another one who capitalizes on her disabilities, which, uh, okay. And she has her first, we're gonna react to her first video. I watched part of this. Um, that's how I know she's trying to capitalize on her disability. This one was, I guess, her most viral of her videos. She got about 6,000 views. So um not really sure what to expect past the first couple minutes, but so let's take a look. We got really nothing else better to do on a Friday morning, right? All right. So her video is titled Kickboxing as a SSBBW Fat Disabled Person Vlog. So yay, she's doing kickboxing. But again, I'll say this once. I'll say it a thousand times. Exercising too extreme is not going to help you lose weight, not when you're that heavy. I mean, it's good. Get movement, walk, yoga. But kickboxing, I think, is a little much. But I don't know. Let's see what this video has in store for us. Yeah. Hi. Welcome to me. I'm Rosie just Jean. Myself yes, this is my first real YouTube video. If you know okay. my past history on the internet over the past decade, you know a lot Not about really. me as a, you know, trauma dumper in recovery. <laughs> Does anybody know her it besides, well, even the person that contacted me? Anybody follow her on her um, other channels? And I'm not sure what went down there, but, um, you know, she's a SoFla girl, just like yours truly, South Florida. Um, she's in the pool. Yay. She has a pool cage. I'm jealous. I wonder where in South Florida she is. <laughs> Who's gonna still trauma dump sometimes? Of course. Um, I am a 31 year old adult in Florida. Yeah. I'm an ex-Mormon, fun fact about me. I also um, uh, consider myself a queer slash bi person. Okay, I cool. I go by Quirky Love Rose on the internet. Quirky Love I Rose. I was Fat Rose Phoenix for a hot minute. If you saw that one article that went viral of me, she's, um, I was definitely... She's very proud of herself, isn't she? ...misrepresented as being more physically disabled and in need of a cane than I was. Um, this whole journey that I'm on right now 
was started because I was essentially bullied into the mental hospital. I'm not getting into that, but um, I did. Did she say she was bullied into a mental hospital or she was bullied at mental hospital? Bullied in need of a cane than I was. Um, this whole journey that I'm on right now was started because I was essentially bullied into the mental hospital. Uh. I'm not getting into that, but um, I did. So if she was, I wonder if she's talking about she was Baker acted. Because uh, otherwise I don't understand how you'd get bullied into a mental hospital. And honestly, guys, especially in Florida, the mental hospitals here really don't help you except for they make sure that you don't do something drastic to yourself. That's pretty much the extent of what they do. It, it doesn't help anybody mentally, just FYI. You seek a lot of treatment because I have PTSD, ADHD, confirmed and have had confirmed for many years. Yay. Um, I am seeking out my autism diagnosis in November, which is in the books. All right, all right. So what does this do for her to have names on things? It reminds me of Amberlynn Reed. What difference does it make? What diseases you have? I, I don't get it. I don't get the allure. Does she want a badge? Is she warning people that her videos might be half-assed because she's so disabled? I don't know. Finally. Autism's and funny. I oh. did get the confirmation, my most recent... Okay, let me back up. It's not funny that she has autism. It's just funny that she's 31 and they're just finding it now. It's kind of sad. Um, you know, clarification of diagnosis being MDD, major depressive disorder, that I probably developed at the age of 16. So, I also have a really fucked up knee and a fucked up uh, right foot slash ankle from a fractured metatarsal. Whoa, that was a big word, but I guess she doesn't need a cane though. Don't tell her she needs a cane. That was in 2021. The knee was exacerbated by multiple things, but it started like with your when I was a teenager. Literally woke up with a pencil in my knee. Because don't sleep with pencils in your bed. For real. Okay. Not joking. That's that a good happened, point. And it's a good tip. Story. But anyway. Don't sleep with pencils um, in your bed. And then mm -hmm. since then, some other things happened that kind of have attributed, as well as I have a lot of genetic issues regarding my joints and stuff that will only get worse with age. And, and so, and as you can see, I look like. And wait. Sorry, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, you, you got to lose the weight. This, and I am not the type of person that hates my body. No, you love um, it, obviously. You're very proud of yourself. I in my early 20s, um, and I spent a lot of time in, you know, fat positive spaces, body, body, body positivity spaces, which I definitely still believe and subscribe in. However, I also used to have ties in another community Theaterism. that I recently left. Good. Um, the feederism community. Mm -hmm. So on this channel, I'm going to talk about my life. I want to talk about okay. the things that I'm doing, my goals, my dreams. I have been an avid YouTube watcher since the age of 15. Okay. Um, in the mid 2000s. It's an interesting I cut. I used to be a massive, massive cringe. Sorry, massive Shane Dawson fan. I know, gross. Um, but I think there are a lot of us out okay. there. Um, Great. Mm -hmm. And I believe that he and a few other people are great examples of how um, people can develop abusive parasocial dynamics with, with people. Some of, some of which... She's got a hell of a vocabulary, I'll tell you that much. ...have directly communicated with those people and others who simply, you know, are able to do that through their content. And I have a lot of opinions about that and stuff I'd like to make in the future. She almost and had some under there. I'm going to now get a little bit into what this video is about, which okay. is... A bitch like me, kickboxing, which with everything I just said, I cool. believed myself to be a self-determined autistic since definitely three years ago. I think okay. I questioned for about two years before then. Um, I was really dealing with a lot of body pain and struggling to walk. So that was one of the biggest reasons I was using the cane that I wasn't aware of, as well as this knee got really re-injured roughly about six to five months ago for the first time and well in a positive side i'm glad she's swimming you know that's the beauty of living in florida take advantage and um i didn't do anything about it i ignored it and it started getting worse and it wasn't until i started getting in this pool almost every single day Good. during anywhere between one to three hours of stretching things <laughs> like that that i was able to start just intuitively listening to my body and use okay pro tip she's gotta wear sunscreen sorry honey it looks like she doesn't wear sunscreen she's got a lot of issues going on with her back and the last thing she needs 
is skin cancer, although she'd probably have a skin cancer badge too. Using this graciously accessible pool um, in this home that I live in. And so, cool. Yeah, yeah she I've needs sunscreen. For a bit. I don't know how much of this I will or won't edit out, but I'm new Obviously, to none of it. And this is going to be, you know, a learning journey. I'm sorry if my editing sucks. Mm. That is one of the biggest reasons why I haven't ventured in to this shit because I'm a bit of an ADHD perfectionist. And um, this whole new journey that I've been on has been all about me just trying shit. Okay. You know. Yeah, I good. That's one of the reasons mm -hmm. why I like the Try Guys so much. But I got to live sunscreen. vicariously through that energy. But it's now that I, now it's time I'm ch channeling that shit, you know. It's I get caught up in the weirdest things. I know kind of just set the stage. Yesterday, I impulsively decided to um, go to the last class of the day. I woke up yesterday and I started, I had to respond to an email back for a, a project that's launching soonish. I just sent a clarifying email that sent me into a flashback spiral with my trauma. And um, so I'm assuming that she's worked, she works nine to five too. Okay. From early, early childhood development, because I specifically have CPTSD even though that's not yet um, acknowledged by the DCM, which it should be, but whatever. Us here for whatever. Okay, good. That's a rant All for right, yes. That's a rant for no yes. All right, girl. We know. We're acknowledging you and all your issues. Carry on. I ended up actually going in at half an hour early, and I basically vlogged the majority of the workout. Not all of it. I don't know if I said this in this clip or not. But don't I point at us. Very clear. That's rude. This is not a weight loss channel. <laughs> And I don't want the diet tips. I don't want. FYI, just a spoiler alert. She goes on Monjaro recently, but I didn't want to take a look at that because she didn't get a lot of views there. So unsolicited diet advice. Um, then I don't want to seem like I'm, I'm going to get it anyway. Punching down. But I don't want it. I am not here to be your good fatty, nor your bad fatty. I'm here to be rosy. You're here to be a fatty. Okay, cool. And if you're here for the ride, let's go. Yeah. I'm trying this new vlog format of what I'm doing. I posted a short Instagram, okay. but I got here 30 minutes early on accident. Oh, Man, God, her I stretch bracelets are even. From at least me. And her stretch bracelets are even tight. Wow. And so warm ups. So I'm just taking a break, taking a rest. Yeah, it's sweaty. Good. Oh, there's only like three other people here. Thank God for that, because I have a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. At least you're there. I'm going to probably have to edit this. I'm definitely going to have to edit this music out. The bouncy floor is here. Ah, good. <laughs> okay. Get it, girl. Toe taps. And balance. Helps her get balance, too, as well as leg strength. At this point, my chronic pain was wild, hence the faces. It felt like my body was something. I don't know. Can't read fast enough. Just can't see, actually. You guys can't hear it, but this is a really good song. Hold on. Ashley was an incredible instructor. She did a fantastic job meeting me where I was at while also pushing me to my limits and keeping me safe. Good. Within my set limitations from past injuries and the fact that you're like, I don't know, 550, whatever. Again. Physical activity is awesome. It is. It really is. She needs to just walk, okay? And by the way, I think I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because this is kind of long and, um, yeah. All right, I did, uh, we're at you now 1.25, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I 
At this point, I'm fighting old patterns, wanting to give up, to be honest. So I pivot back and try listening to my body for any movement I can do without pushing too far. Yes, that is, that's smart. I remember being so pissed at my limitations, so I took it out on the bag, LOL. Good, that's what it's for. We have one in our patio, but it looks like a guy and it's pretty creepy. Oof. The instructors were the ones who suggested I do seated movement to work on my upper body and give my legs slash injury a break. Okay, great. Probably going to edit a lot of this out too, just so you know. I'll post the original video in case you want to see it, but it's just pretty much so far her just moving around. This is an interesting angle. Okay, good. Ashley specifically grabbed the heaviest glove they had for extra resistance, I believe showing me this motion to keep moving even while resting. Oh, great, Ashley, you go, Ashley. The question I have, was this a one and done or did she keep this up? And those paper towels next to her, interesting. All right, here we are back at the bags. All right, this is my favorite part of kickboxing. It's the favorite part of my kickboxing is the punching. It really helps me not only physically, but emotionally and mental, my mental process stuff too. So it looks like she is in a class with other people. So, but it, it's weird that she's behind the instructor. Okay. I, I kind of don't like that because I feel like she should be um, guided a little bit better. And remember, this is sped up. These are the modified jumping jacks, except you normally are supposed to do the arm motions with it. I found that a touch overwhelming, mainly due to being uncoordinated as hell, LOL. That's exactly it, it's uncoordination. By the way, I have to hover over the pause. My space bar doesn't work anymore to pause. Is that annoying? So what do you guys think, one and done? We'll have to check out her other videos. I found myself losing my balance a lot, but I also, but I keep trucking through. I also really struggle with the break, the breathing techniques that they use. I don't know if it's cause my lung issues or I'm overthinking it. Is she gonna acknowledge her weight at all? I don't know. Or it's not that she's, not that acknowledging the weight, but acknowledging that a lot of her problems are either caused or exacerbated by her weight. And that's not healthy. You gotta be honest. And this is when I'm getting even more pissed, LOL. The more power to the punches, the more mad I am, mainly at the pain. <gasps> and summit myself? No. Say it ain't so. I can't even put into words what the nerve pain was like at this point. So how do you know it's not just pain pain? Nerve pain's usually like, it starts with the numbing and then it becomes very painful, but um, I don't have nerve pain, but I definitely have numbing. Remember, I have MS too, so I wouldn't even attempt this. I'd be on the floor already. I have no balance. And when I get overheated, I lose my legs. That's what I call it. I have, lose the ability to stand. It's life. This was the point I was losing my steam. Bad. So I bought some energy thing and that actually helped. It wasn't mainly caffeine source. I'm sensitive to it. But I hydrated and took a real break while listening to her discuss the techniques. So she got an energy drink. Okay, good. There it is. Let's see what it is. She's not gonna show us.
I wonder what energy drink that is. Oh, come on, show us. Okay, got it? All right. First combo, guys. She's going to get the calories. Oh, good water. Great. This is Sarah. She did my orientation, and when I was nervous to even sign up, she was the one who picked up the phone and made me feel safe and excited to immediately sign up. Good, that's awesome. She looks like, yeah, this place looks like a lot of fun. Maybe it's all female. You got powerful hooks. She used that word many times to describe my punches, and I loved that. Great. So they're letting her do that while sitting. That's, oh, now she's getting up. Oh, go for it, girl. Knock her down. Like I was saying earlier, I was losing steam and determined to not to give up. Yeah, but you shouldn't overdo it on your first day. You shouldn't overdo it in general. Playing with fire there. Because you guys realize one injury, she's in bed and that's, that's it. It's curtains for her. One big injury. I got 10 more to do. I felt my knee and legs acting a mess, but I wanted to complete the workout. Okay, just don't fall and get hurt. How about that? Got anything on the bag? <laughs> Good. Looks like she has stuff in her pockets. It's another one with kind of a weird shape. You got to take that out on the bag, girl. You got to take that out on the bag. I just wanted to take a moment and say, if you are still watching, plus reading these text captions, thank you. And I hope you stick around and follow me on Instagram. I'm excited to start my journey here on YouTube as someone who creates instead of just consuming. Okay, yeah, I can jive with that. Yep. Please feel free to leave any or many questions in the comments. I love to do a YouTube Q&A for those who have been, haven't been watching for a long time to have a chance to get to know me better. Well, that's weird. This is her first video. And if she did actual feederism, I doubt very few people who are watching her now were familiar with that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So we're back to sitting. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm happy that she's taking breaks. I cut down a lot of the footage, but I did this for the entire length of the song. Good! Imagine doing this class with a 300 pound bodysuit. <clears throat> she's 300 pounds, guys. Really? Do you really think so? 300. How tall is she? Maybe she's five, four, nine. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Listen, I'm gonna lean on this counter and talk for a second because Good. it's probably been maybe less than 20 minutes left in the class. I came to the 60 minute instead of the 45 minute because I'm insane. And um, this is my first class after orientation. I am exhausted. Um, I went so hard in the warm-ups and I came 30 minutes early. So actually I've been here for over an hour now. Oh boy. And I've been on the verge of tears for a little bit. I haven't cried yet. And I, I didn't cry. Yay for me for that. LOL. Honestly, I think it's because the, instruct the instructors here are fucking incredible. They're so kind and compassionate. They've been working with me. They've been teaching me all these awesome modifications, most of which I've vlogged. I haven't vlogged everything I've done, but a good chunk of it. Take those bracelets off. I did warm ups like longer, I think, than everyone else. I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't realize what I went right This was my first it. real class, and I definitely didn't pace myself I well. This vlog's gonna look like I'm Well, they should have helped you pace yourself, so. I'm, I'm not much of an editor. I've never made a really good video. We know, you just said that. I have an injured knee in my left leg, and I fractured my We know. Foot You've mentioned that. A month and a half ago, I could barely get out of bed, and I was like walking around with a cane. Um, because I didn't know that I had untreated diabetes. Oh my God. 
which made me dizzy and frail on top of the chronic pain and such. Holy shit, she has diabetes too. I'm not really here for diet culture, weight loss talk and all that shit. We know. To be healthy and do better for myself. Yes, to, don't control to, your don't control your eating, just exercise a lot. A lot of fucking anger. And y'all get to know me more. You know, understand why. Go through some shit. And um, if you go oh, follow you know. me on Instagram for Yes, time, I'm sure you have. You and Amber can... Maybe this is Amber's new Valentine? That'd be awesome. This shit's hard, and I'm far from done. Don't cry. I'm here. You said you weren't gonna cry. I'm proud of myself. So, Good. This place offers dry shampoo, and mouthwash, and lotion, and hairspray, and Q-tips, which is not Oh, and makeup works. Thank you for your money, boys. Hey guys, this is weird. I'm never horizontal, I'm always vertical on the gram, you know what I'm saying? That dry shampoo in the bathroom, great touch. Um, no, you need I to wash your to hair, a honey. Chain it's called sweaty. Like kickboxing. Every location is like owned <sighs> by um, a franchiser, and so this one is an almost entirely female ran uh, franchise. Oh, good. And by the way, Smoothie King, I miss you. My son, we oh, so bad. <laughs> and um, as you guys will see in some of these clips, the two women that were there, well, one of them, her name is Sarah. She was the one who was like holding the mats for me, or the, whatever those are called, and um, she was actually my. Um, coach during my orientation and I was the only person at my orientation so it was really cool I'm finally just kind of taking this opportunity to at least start YouTube I don't think I'm gonna really ever be the type of person to have like a super consistent schedule unless my life kind of changes in certain aspects I'm in the middle of trying to move now um, I've got a lot happening in my life I'm currently on why are you moving you got a pool I hope you move to another place with the pool short-term disability because um, we know a month and a half ago I was struggling to get out of bed. I was. Str I wonder if she's going to explain that her knee is injured. Struggling to walk around without holding the walls or using a cane, and um, unfortunately, I had some internet drama surrounding that topic. But we don't need to go there. And um, truly, that shit was gross. Being called a liar um, about oh my, my disabilities is really fucked up. At the time, I did. I was Who on cares? A okay. Diabetes. I'm now. Back You're disabled. Okay. Shh. Balanced out on my metformin. Um, and I've been able to go to the doctor and everything. As well Good. as, if you might know, you might know me from other spaces on the internet. We don't need to get into on YouTube yet. But I left those spaces because it was like the antithesis of anorexia, if you feel me. And so, um, you know, I've had a very colorful, interesting internet history. It's like stuff I want to talk about and get into on YouTube. But today, um, I am just kind of vlogging the experience. I don't know. I can't spoil anything. But I guess she gets into the drama shortly. Well, maybe we'll see, maybe we won't. I'll see if you guys have any interest. Experience of what kickboxing was like. And I'm so thankful for the instructors. They're such great people and they're good fucking people. And Sarah right. was so compassionate and kind and Ashley was awesome because she just kept reading my face and like meeting me where I was at. They were, like in the beginning, she was like, okay, add this, do this. And like, I was like, okay, okay, okay. And then at a certain point, I think my face started to show. I was so I think Alan... Roberts, who I know, he's not everybody's cup of tea. He really is the uh, angry, bald guy. But basically, you need the right kind of trainer for somebody like her, okay? Because really, she could have exacerbated her knee injury. Breaking okay. a little bit, and she backed off. And that is amazing to me. Okay. Because she was pushing me with compassion and kindness. And when she could tell I was hitting my max, she stopped. And I appreciate that so much, more than I could say. And I mean, as you guys will probably see in the footage, you'll see certain points where I just get really angry all of a sudden. Every time that happened, it was because I was getting angry at my body. I was getting angry at my limitations because I wanted to do so much more. And I know I have the capacity to right now. I just don't have the ability. And um, I have a really Lose fucked some up weight. Um, when I was 13, one day I woke up with a pencil lodged this deep in my knee. Never told, I didn't tell my parents for six months. Um, I pulled it out of my knee. It healed over. And um, that was kind of the start of it. And then I had to live in an area where I had to sleep in a cramped space with my knee kind of like uh, bent upward. Um, because I was actually, I lived in a camper for seven months during the height of COVID. And my bed didn't fit in the area where beds are supposed to go. So I was sleeping in that little like makeshift bed area that campers have, you know. And um, ever since then, my knee has not been the same. Uh, I also had some issues with some other stuff. I, I won't trauma like right her now, weight. But, um, there was also some other stuff that happened prior to that that kind of exacerbated certain body Your issues. Knee? And then in 2021, I fractured my right metatarsal on my foot. Okay. And my How? ankles kind of misaligned. 
and I don't have doctor confirmation yet, but I have reason to believe that one of my legs might be longer than the other. Um, so that explains a lot and like my balance no. issues, you might have seen that. You know, I shouldn't laugh because actually that was my husband's problem because his hips were... His hips had issues, and it was probably the way he was born. Yeah, and I can't make fun of that. Well, I, was had I got both hips my balance. replaced um, at a young I think age. That's a factor. So, you know, I've got a lot of other health issues that we are know. not related to my fatness, by the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> and, um, like what? That I've been prioritizing and working on um, for the, you know, I was essentially, you know, bullied into the psych ward. Uh, what's today's date? Yeah. Okay. Good. Go. F I want to hear this. About a month and a week ago, I want to say, oh, roughly, roughly, I'd have to double check the dates, but um, maybe a little over a week. And um, I think I needed to be there even before I was being, you know, bullied and exploited for my mental health on the internet by some really irrelevant people. Um, but outside of those experiences, um, I am thankful that I got the help that I needed, and I am thankful. Well, okay. So probably what happened, I have no idea. I'd have to research it, and we'll see. Um, she probably showed some ideations and somebody rightfully either called the police or called somebody and had her Baker acted, which basically means you have to, um, is it seven? I think it's 72 hours. You have to be watched in a institution for 72 hours. It's, it's not a pretty thing. But I've gotten this far. I've spent over a month in my pool. Going from struggling Good. to get out of bed, struggling to walk around. Yes, yeah, to what probably you just saw. what helped. Yes. No one can take away the fact that I'm a fucking badass. Mm -hmm. I've You're been through some real hell. I've been through worse. I've said that to myself so much this past month, you wouldn't even know, as I have. And I really pride myself on my authenticity. Even if people find me abrasive or annoying or whatever, then you're probably just not meant for me, and that's cool. Do you, you know? But. Fake is not who I am, okay. nor who I ever will okay. be. Okay, good. And if you're looking for somebody to hang out with on the internet... Well, if fake means that you yourself believe what you're saying, so you're not fake, okay, then I'll go for that. To, She's in know, Luluville. See their authentic journey. That's what I want to share. And no, this is not a weight loss channel. And no, this isn't some bullshit ploy for attention or anything like that okay truly i just want to inspire people to make the choices that they need to make to be better you don't have to change your body you don't have to you yes, don't have you to do. fit a certain clothing size you don't have to hit a certain number on the scale you don't have to have a certain amount of inches on your waist mm. but every decision you make every day can be leading towards your overall betterment and health to luluville because movement is movement you know you're not going to get anywhere unless it's you lose hard the weight after a lifetime of a sedentary lifestyle to choose movement. It's hard. Yeah, start by walking, honey. But I went through some shit recently that made me realize- She's gonna tell us. That just because staying still is safe in your mind, it's not necessarily safe for your body. Yes, true. And it might be a risk, but it's a risk I'm finally willing to take. And I have a lot of pent up anger, resentment, rage, from a lifetime of horse shit. Yeah, well. And I have to tell y'all, well, them $44 Groupons for six classes of kickboxing are fucking worth it. Even if you have I love to Groupons. modify. Even if you aren't as good as other people in the class. You know, I was genuinely in that class, zeroing in on Matt, focusing, closing my eyes, doing anything I could to not register the people around me because I knew I was behind them. I knew I had to modify things differently. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do burpees or actual jumping jacks because I explained I have these injuries and they are um, probably going to be lifelong issues even if I drop 300 pounds. You know what I mean? No, well. Which is something I'm not entirely. Okay, so that, that explains it. She's about 500. Okay. I see what she was saying before. She has 300 excess pounds. All right. That's more believable. But when you get to a more normal weight, you don't have to be a skinny mini, but they could do like surgery on your knee, surgery on your ankle. They're not going to do it now. But I'm, that's not my goal. My goal is health. My goal is to improve my intuitive eating. My goal is to not restrict myself. My goal... I, I don't know if I can do this, guys. A healthy lifestyle. I've done it before. I've been a pre-diabetic since the age of.
Did you lose 89 pounds? 18, I'm 31. When I, so what year is it? In 2021, I got my blood work done and I had been um, like kind of going up and down and I kind of been tinkering on like six, 6.3 on my AC once for years. And then I got my blood work done uh, around, I, around this time, around this time, uh, lap, you know, two years ago, uh, when I got that done, my AC1 was 5.7. It's currently 6.8 as of my blood work within the past month or so. That's, Actually, I found out I was a maybe, diabetic my first well, day no. in the psych ward. Uh, and, um, oh, I didn't even mention earlier, my other diagnosis that I got confirmed recently, MDD, which is major depressive disorder. I have been misdiagnosed with bipolar most of my life. And so I'm working with my psychiatrist. I'm doing, I just got signed up for it. So were you, were you taking the wrong medicines for bipolar or did they just give you the badge? intensive outpatient program because my mental health the is imperative the same. for me to continue to keep facing my physical health because it took me all these years to finally be ready to confront both simultaneously because my mental health has been such a drag dog <laughs> i've been such a fucking drag so um i'm ready to pull it out of the trenches good i'm gonna be real with you guys i don't remember if i've said this already but i um was in the pool for like three hours minimum actively stretching i've been doing a lot of squats in the water good which, by the way she actually, walk she in the water a little bit better and like that's never happened because i've never done anything like this in my entire life okay let me be clear about that and i'm like i can i even notice a little bit when i'm sitting down and i'm like oh okay i will be more of an ass work just what you needed <laughs> it's, you know anyway <laughs> i think you get, listen i've i have made a hang call joke at my own expense at least once or twice in my life all right <laughs> And so anyway, um, I'm not um, placing my food choices at all. In fact, I recently went down an ED spiral because I started trying to track my food before I was ready. And I had just hired a nutritionist and then the day after I found out I had less than 60 days to move somewhere. So that's unfortunately going on the back burner because my nutritionist is not covered under insurance. And my insurance is already fucking me over because I've got so much shit to pay for, for all these programs and all this shit. And I'm just blessed to have a job that has the intensively beneficial oh. benefits that I already have. Oh, wait a minute. I thought she said short-term disability. Maybe I just wasn't listening. That's always possible. So. So, buttons. This is what it's like for an almost 500-pound person to be trying to kickbox and <laughs> make better choices. Okay, good. Because old me would go somewhere and order a fuck ton of food because I, just, whoa, whoa, I decided whoa, whoa, to be whoa, physical. Whoa, whoa. I thought you just said you're not policing your food choices. I might cut this out. I don't know, but... I have a history you of didn't. profiting off of eating on the internet. We and, know. Um, You've said it. I think this is the third time. Really complicated. Yeah. And most people don't, don't understand unless they've been the kind of... Well, you don't get to 550 pounds without an eating disorder. Sorry. Model I've been in the past. They all have them. That's a little bit about me. And um, I've got some cool shit in the pipeline coming out. I want to start making more shit like this. I'm going to have to learn how to edit. If, this, if my editing sucks, I am sorry. I'm going to do my best. But I guess feeder content, you don't have to edit. This is the start of a lot of things. And, Good. Um, shout out to myself here. Quirky Love Rose with two E's on Instagram. I kind of vlog a lot on my Instagram stories, and I've been doing it for years. I started on Snapchat in 2013, 2015. Moved over to Instagram sometime after that. And um, I've been really active on the internet again for at least the past like three to four years because I've got a history on the internet as well. We know. <laughs> on places like Reddit, things like that. We know. So Ooh, I'm going to have minutes. to look her Let's up. Let's see how much I cut this down. This might be an hour long video. I'm really bad at self editing. <laughs> but um, I'm hopeful for the future. And um, I want one thing to be made clear I don't hate my body. Oh, I we don't know. Think I'm ugly. I don't think my fat no. is ugly. You're not ugly. And I struggle a lot with this weird dichotomy in my head between being afraid to lose weight and being afraid to gain weight. And I might talk about that in more detail one day. But it's a very unique position that requires me to explain a lot about myself. And um, frankly, I have enough footage right now that I shouldn't be doing that today. And I hope that if this video inspires you, intrigues you, interests you in some way that you keep coming back. I hope that, um, you know, comment, like, subscribe, I guess. I don't know, man. Um, I just think that if you jive with this, you want to be a part of this. Um, I hope you stick around and thank you so much for watching later. <laughs> All right, guys. So this was seven months ago. So let's see if there's any like comments or anything here. That's interesting. Oh, here's some drama. Hey, babe, important. Please do not associate yourself with Renee, a.k.a.
Rainy at Planet with a Palette here on Facebook. I have known her in real life for 15 years, and she has told me awful things about you. So, what a friggin' child. Ivy and other SSBBWS. She only cares about numbers and gets really jealous. The other people that are smaller than the other people that are smaller than her make more money and have more followers. Also, she's trying to keep it secret that she does corn. I wonder if it's cream corn. She is a two-faced and fake on her channel. It is laughable. I wanted to let you know that she has mentioned to me and has no idea who you were until I saw her give you credit in one of her videos. Please do not work with her. She isn't in the community I used to care about a lot. We were best friends and then I overheard her saying horrible things. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is some fucking elementary school shit. Mm -mm. But there's obviously some drama. I don't know all the drama about the uh, SSBBW community. Nor do I want to. So her comments kind of remind me of how Amber Lynn started, right? So she started, um, you know, and everybody loved her. Everybody wanted her to see her do well. But um, we know how that ended, and I can totally see this person, this Rosie, being, yeah, Amberlynn Reed-esque. So I'm curious. Let's see what her comments look like now. I don't know how, how you having a full-on relationship re retrospective. My entire entire personality and interests now are weight loss and Munjaro. I don't know how you're balancing that shift and the other areas of your life. Such a massive change. But I don't, I don't know if she also has a nine to five. I don't know her situation. She must have talked about a dating relationship. So, I mean, you know, it's fine. Hello guys, this is Editing Mama Goob again. I don't know what happened to my voice at the end, but I'm sure I was saying something completely brilliant, but it didn't record. Anyways, I hope you like this type of video. If so, let me know in the comments and I hope to see you on the next one. Um, thanks again for stopping by guys. Bye.